with just over 50 days until the Winter Olympics begin in Russia, the White House says President Obama will not attend. The United States is not sending any top officials, but the U.S. delegation will include openly gay athletes. And that appears to be a deliberate response to Russia's anti-gay laws. Chip Reed is at the White House. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning, Charlie and Nora. In the past few months, Russia has been harshly criticized by many nations for passing laws against so-called gay propaganda. Now, President Obama is making his opposition to those laws loud and clear. With the Olympic torch winding its way through Russia, President Obama sent a strong message of opposition to the country's anti-gay laws. On Tuesday, the White House announced that two openly gay athletes, tennis star Billie Jean King and ice hockey medalist Caitlin Cahow, will be part of the U.S. delegation. Janet Napolitano, a former Secretary of Homeland Security, has been named the delegation's leader. It's certainly not as dramatic uh, or an outright rupture in the way that a boycott would be, but I think it's, it's meant to send a very clear-cut signal of U.S. disapproval. For the first time in 14 years, the U.S. Olympic team won't be represented by the president, vice president, first lady, or a former president. In a statement, the White House said the president's schedule doesn't allow him to travel to Sochi, but the delegation represents the diversity that is the United States. Russia and its president, Vladimir Putin, have been under growing pressure from the international community after passing a series of anti-gay laws barring propaganda and non-traditional sexual relations. But despite his opposition, President Obama has resisted calls for an Olympic boycott. One of the things I'm really looking forward to is uh, maybe some gay and lesbian athletes bringing home the gold or silver or bronze, uh, which I think would go a long way in uh, rejecting the, the kind of attitudes that we're, we're seeing there. The Olympic snub comes after Mr. Obama canceled a September meeting with Putin in response to Russia's decision to grant asylum to NSA leaker Edward Snowden. When the president of the United States personally declines the invitation from the president of Russia to appear at his show, it's getting pretty personal. And I think that this will be taken as a snub in the Kremlin uh, which was clearly the intention. President Obama is not the only world leader who will be absent from the upcoming Winter Games. The presidents of France and Germany also have declined to attend. Charlie and Nora. Chip Reed in Washington, thank you.